Nola Gent here in Mont Eagle, Tennessee at the Mountain Goat Market. Yeah! Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. The Mountain Goat Market is very popular in the Mont Eagle area and they're near the Mont Eagle Water Tower. So if you see the Water Tower, look right and you should see the Mountain Goat Market. And you'll notice all the people that sit outside in their outdoor dining area right in front. And you'll see the Mountain Goat itself all over the place on the outside of the building. So they have many different versions of the Mountain Goat. So they have parking on both sides of the building and uh, you can notice uh, mountain goats engaged in various activities. So the entrance is on the other side from where we were looking at and even more mountain goats are in action here. So it's a good time just in the outside before you've even gone in seeing all the mountain goats doing what they do in their mountain goat ways. So check this out. Mountain Goat Market is usually open 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Tuesday to Saturday. And uh, the Mountain Goat is quite popular with the students of the University of South Suwannee. And even some of my friends in New Orleans say this is the best food that exists in the Mont Eagle area. So let's go inside and check it out. And we of course see even more mountain goats in their mountain goat adventures. So how many mountain goats can you count as we walk through this place? So definitely this is a market. It's not just a restaurant. They have all manner of things inside of here. It's quite an impressive collection of items that they have. So as we look around here, just look at so many things that they have available. It is an amazing selection, so do plan on spending a little time in here shopping and looking around at the many various items that they do have to peruse and shop and possibly pick up that special gift for anybody you have. They also have a nice selection of drinks over here. They have some t-shirts, which if you need your Mountain Goat t-shirt, of course, this is where you would get it. And you probably need a Mountain Goat Market t-shirt, right? And they have a nice seating area with two swings here and then a fireplace in the middle of that to stay warm on those cold days. Uh, I don't think they actually have lit that fireplace because it's the summertime still. It's still pretty warm outside. So uh, here we go and they have some socks right here. They have some hats and other items of various clothing and otherwise things to be looked at and shopped for over here. So they really do have quite an interesting selection for the market part of this uh, interesting place. So as you look around and notice, wow, like there's things that I've not often seen in many other places. So this is a great place to pick up an interesting gift for Anybody that you need to find something on your list for. Some plastic fruits and vegetables, I guess. I'm not quite sure if these are toys or what they are. If you know what these are, comment below. I think I've seen them maybe in another store, maybe like a cooking store, I'm not quite sure. But if you know what that is, comment below, jog my memory, let me know. And uh, it really just keeps going in here. There's so many things, a sock tree, you know, like, ooh, here we go, a tree full of socks. Sometimes you can never have enough of those. I guess the dryers do eat them, it seems. I've uh, never liked it when I lose one. And here we are over next to the order area of uh, where you put your order on where all the food is and the dining area. So this is where we're gonna go up to put our food order in here shortly, but there's more items to look at over here. So let's take a little uh, shopping expedition to see what our selection is over here. We have some coffee mugs and a few food items, but look, they have Tiger King coffee mugs, what everybody needs in their life. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens with Carol Baskin. Oh, did she kill her husband or not? What do you think? Comment below. And then we get in this section, they actually have some things on sale. 
Uh, to the right of me right here is the bathroom area. And then they have all these 50% off items, which mostly seem to be some uh, food items. So uh, if you're looking for a great sale, this is the section they have it in this area right here. So cool. All right, let's go back over to order some food and check out some of the selection. So they have uh, an espresso bar, coffee, and they do uh, impressive sandwiches. And then they also are noted for their pizza. They have ice cream. They have a nice variety of desserts with cannolis and all sorts of fruit and cookies. Then they have a nice drink selection here in addition to the one we already saw. And then all sorts of pastries and cookies and other bonbon treats along with some pies and all manner of cakes. And then we get down into some different salads underneath that. So they have quite a nice selection of items to choose from. So you better come hungry and you better be prepared. And here's the selection of deli meats they use on their sandwiches. And don't forget they have pizzas here. So they do have quite an interesting variety of pizzas to select from here. So I put my order in for the pesto sandwich, a drink and a slice of pie with a total of $13.72. And I ordered the pesto, which is Tuscan chicken, pepper jack, pesto, spinach, roasted red peppers, served on a French baguette. And all the sandwiches here are pressed. It is nice and hot, but not burning hot. It's just a pleasantly hot temperature. Everything is perfectly done inside of this sandwich. It's quite tasty. And look at that steam coming off of it. It's just perfectly hot enough to have the steam coming off of it. Everything in the sandwich is a perfect temperature, but it's not so hot that it's gonna burn your mouth or scald you in any way. Just at a perfectly hot temperature that everything works well and delicious and everything goes together excellently in this sandwich. So a very, very delicious sandwich. It's not quite a New Orleans po' boy, even though it's on a French baguette. It's definitely uh, a smaller sandwich than any of our New Orleans po' boys, but they've heated it quite well. It gives it a little extra element that we don't get with a lot of our po' boys in New Orleans because look at that steam coming off. Wow, I have rarely ever seen a New Orleans po' boy with steam like that coming off of it. So the pressed style sandwich does give a little extra special touch to this and it toasts the bread and makes it a little extra crunchy and heats up everything in a perfect way. So that definitely gives this unique extra bonus points as the steam continues to come off of this. This is quite a nice thing. I imagine when it gets cold outside this would be a fantastic thing to warm up your inside. So definitely Mine Eagle in the wintertime is a lot colder than New Orleans in the wintertime, so this would definitely make this a popular spot to heat up. And it's also messy like a Pooh Boy, as you can see my face is full of delicious goodness leaking out from the sandwich. This is not a easy thing to eat without making a mess on your hands, as you can clearly see. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button too, though, if you're uh, not subscribed yet. So smash that button as we go into the second half of this sandwich and it's still hot and delicious. There's still steam coming off the second half all this time later after finishing the first half. So they have definitely perfected the pressing and steam heating technology here as it is still working and everything is perfectly done. Excellent job. Mountain Goat Market definitely knows how to do a great sandwich. And I need to improve my napkin wiping skills while I'm on camera. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo, I'm getting a little sloppy here. But it's such an enjoyable sandwich to eat. Steam is still coming off of this thing. It just stays perfectly hot the entire time you're eating it. I'm quite impressed. It's rare you find a sandwich that stays at the perfect temperature and still has steam coming off of it this far into the eating process. So this is... Uh, quite a great job they've done here. Okay, we're going on the home stretch here. I'm almost done with the sandwich. I'm a little sad to see it go. But here we go, just a few more bites. 
and it's still steaming all the way to the last bite, literally. I don't think I've ever seen a sandwich this perfectly, just putting off the perfect amount of heat and steam. Everything has certainly been perfected with their sandwich technology here. Great job. That was a great sandwich. Let's see what we have left over in the basket after. Okay, not quite like a New Orleans po' boy. There's not a whole second sandwich in here. Uh, just a little bit of cleanup to do. So just a little tiny appetizer, a little lag nap here to finish off. And uh, one last bite, a little cheese, tomato, and spinach, and uh, we'll finish it off for the sandwich. So mission accomplished. And now it's time to move on to the pie. I got this delicious looking key lime pie and I'm anxious to see how it tastes. It looks fantastic. It smells quite fantastic. So let's dig in. Oh, this is uh, very easy to get into. Perfect. This is a wonderful key lime pie. The flavor is nice, exactly like it should be. It's got the perfect amount of lime flavor. It's not overwhelmingly citrusy sour tart. It's just the perfect level of a little sweet and sour in there. The crust is excellent. I really like this pie. Very nice. This is uh, definitely one of the better key lime pies I've ever had. And sometimes people get them too cold or hard to get into and eat. This one is perfect at the temperature level it's at. So go ahead and stab that subscribe button and that like button too while you're at it. And I'll go ahead and finish this pie in the meantime while you work on that. So here we go, finishing it off. That was a delicious dessert, but why stop with that? After it was this good of a dessert, I think I might have to try something else. So these macaroons look fantastic. I'm gonna try one of the macaroons. So let's uh, try it out over here next to their coffee bar here in the back for their espresso coffee bar. Okay, this has a delicious blueberry flavor. This is a really great macaroon. It's been a while since I've had such a good macaroon. All right, well on our way back out of here, notice all the extra decorations in here. How many more mountain goats can you see as you walk out of this building? They definitely have lots of mountain goats to see. Entry and exit here, and so much character. All the interesting decorations and things they have on the walls here. So definitely, Mountain Goat Market's a really cool place, so make sure you join in everybody else who loves this place. And the next time you find yourself in Mont Eagle, Tennessee, or just make a special trip to Mont Eagle, Tennessee, to go to the Mountain Goat Market and check it out. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.